So I have found. Right, I was going to plug it into that. Thanks. Um, Now what I have found works pretty well with this is one of the real soft things because you can just it'll just yeah I'm, I'm not going to sand this all the way <laughs> it'll just it'll deform enough that you can actually sand it around this is going to take some more sanding you know as long as I, I can go, I can take this off of the faceplate and go back here because I have the hole still. As long as I don't take the, the MDF off, okay. And so I've been using this Abernet as well on here, and this works great. And then as I get to the finer grits, I've been using the dry ice, okay, and that works great too. All right, so. here. All right, so that is in essence done. And uh, the next one I do is this one. All right, do it 180 degrees. Because that means at least for two of them, you're going to have clean turning because if you move to this one you're going to be turning through air for part of it and you're going to as you go around every one of them will have some air this way at least you get two that are clean easy to do like that and these two have you're cutting into the bowl on this side and on this side all right but two is better than none So that's how you start. Then you just do them all around. And rather than go through those other ones, we're just going to jump right to this one. And as you can see, since you have a collection of holes for the faceplate, holes that for the screws for the faceplate, holes for, I put an X at the ones I want to use as the axis points. So once again, I'm going to use my center finder. Line it up. So this is the fourth one on this side, and now this, this one's complicated, more complicated, because now you're cutting through air. What picture did you want in? What's that? What picture did you want in to do? Oh, yes, I want you to start now. Thank you. From, from this side. So maybe if you could sit in that chair. Is this for the tutorial? Yes. For the so you tell me when you want to. Okay. 
Actually, all I need you to do is take a picture when I'm done. Well, you can take one picture of me cutting this out and then another one when it's done. All right. What's your, what's your motivation? My motivation <laughs> is symmetry. Okay, so as you can see, okay, in this one, I have to move this out a little bit. That's too big a gap here. But as you can see, all of this from here to here is going to be air when I'm cutting it. Uh, yeah. Uh, something, that problem about finding the spot. Um, you know, every time you put that faceplate on, you know where the center is. Right. So you can mark the center point and, and guarantee that you've got the center point on all four circles. Right. If you take a compass and maintain that, di that distance on a compass, you now can guarantee that you have all four. That's correct. Okay. And uh, I brought a compass, and I have done that, but since in the end I'm going to sand this top anyway, you know, doing successive approximation isn't too bad either. But you can hear it. You can hear I'm not, I'm cutting a lot of air. So again, to keep this line fairly clean, you don't want to be pushing in. You want it to let it cut. You could, you hear I was doing it a little bit, but, all right? If for people that have never turned off center, uh -huh. uh, actually you can see a shadow. Yeah. It's like the bowl's there. <laughs> right. But it's not really there. Right. So it's, it's harder on this wood, and it's hard because it's dark, and and that and I have no light here. But you're right. If you have the it light helps. at home, yeah. it's it easier to see. Yeah. You want the light? Nah. Would it be uh, easier to see if it's going faster too? Right. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> okay. So it's also great to have Bob come over and sharpen your pencil because it, it's not really sharp, which is exactly what you need. Otherwise, it just breaks the tip off right away. Um, and now we do the last of the outside ones. <clears throat> And this is the time you really wish you could have it faster. And you can tell right away when you're in the solid wood. I have that up for the scraper. I need to take it down. Especially at that speed. Yeah. That's a pretty aggressive cut, isn't it? You're just doing that for speed, or you, that's the way you would normally do it? That's the way I normally do it. Now this limba is a little brittle. So when I'm cutting pure across the face frame in this, it'll tend to split a little bit out. That's okay, it's no problem, but... Okay, let's see where we are in depth. 